Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today, I'm going to bring to you the full quest line to VAR. After the brand new update, this one's going to be pretty cool. It's going to get some very nice rewards. And finally, you'll be able to head over to Moglin's Palace whenever you so choose to do so. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order to kick off this quest line, Everybody is going to see VAR. Hopefully, you didn't kill him. Now, VAR is going to send you off on a lovely quest line. Now, whenever you travel back here, he's going to have a message for you telling you that he is at Learning Lakes. So, in order to get there, you will have to take out a boss and head over here to start over the next part of the quest line. So, head into the Rose Church and talk to VAR. He's going to send you off on the very next part of the quest line. Now, he's going to give you a nice bloody festering finger. It is used for online multiplayer. So, you have two choices now after update 1.96. You can either go into multiplayer by using this and invade another player's world, or you can absolutely invade an NPC player's world, which is pretty cool. So, that's what we're going to do because you can get some very nice, lovely rewards. So, that's what it's about. Let's head over and to defeat this guy. In order to get there, you need to head over to the steps that you need to take down if it's your very first time. It's going to send you all the way down to the Eastern Riot Gate. Then from there, you want to head all the way up till you get to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Where you should see a video pop up right there. It's how you can get both of the different sides to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Put those together, it's going to open it up and bring you to the Altius Plateau. Then from there, we're going to make our way over to the White Bra Ruins, and that is where this NPC is located. But for me, I'm going to head over to this lovely Saving Grace Point, Bridge of Inequity, and head over there. So you have two different ways to get over there. If you're the very first time, you're going to be heading from a different direction. And and if you wanted to get there the most efficient way, well, this is how you're going to do it. You know, if this indeed is your second, third, fourth time playthrough and stuff like that. So let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. There is some little dog enemies over there that can give you a nice little blood loss. So watch out for those. Nine is to invade Magnus. Now, after you invade this NPC, go ahead and take him out. He's going to drop you some nice rewards, nice weapon as well. So have fun with those rewards. From there, you want to head back over to the Rose Church and talk to Var yet again. This time he's going to give you a nice lovely cloth but he wants you to stain it with a maiden's blood. So how do you stain the cloth with maiden's blood? You want to head over here from the Frenzy Flame Village Outskirts Saving Grace Point and over to the Church of Inhibition. This is where the maiden is. Once you're over here, if it's your first time or second playthrough, stuff like that, well, you're going to be invaded by a festering fingerprint Vike. This guy is going to be pretty easy to take down. Take down this invader and now you're going to have yourself a nice lovely weapon to play with again. But we want to head into that church over there and that is where this lovely maiden is going to be. Not only will we have ourselves a sacred tear, you have enough another saving grace point and there is a fallen maiden. Take that clothes, you have yourself a brand new set and you can dye the cloth and now you stain that blood with the cloth of a maiden. Head back over to the Rose Church and talk to Var again. And now he's gonna say, my lambkin, you've completed. This is the final trial. Yep, you're gonna have to give one of your fingers over to White Mass Var. After you do that, he's also gonna tell you, huh, I forgot to tell you, you can have this. So make sure you talk to him again. He's gonna give you that lovely, lovely metal, the Pure Blood Knight's Metal. Use it and now you can travel to Moglin's Palace whenever you want and now you can get your formal for those lovely ruins. Here we are at Moglin's Palace but we don't have any saving grace points unlocked. Turn around and head up these stairs like so and we're going to head over to our first saving grace point. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you have done it. You have now completed Var's quest line, and now you can travel to Mogwin's Palace whenever you want, so you can get your formal for millions of ruins. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the White Mass Var quest line after update 1.06. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Game, a little wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all 
in the next one. Later.